My name is Jacqueline Bush and I am an editorial and celebrity hairstylist. My clientele has included Faith Hill, Mark Ruffalo, Terrence Howard, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jane Krakowski. I want to be able to show you that hair isn't as intimidating or as hard as you think it is and I want you to be able to have fun with it and do what your vision is with your hair. So one thing clients ask me a lot is if they have long hair, they're curious, can I go shorter? All right. The first thing you have to ask yourself is, do you want just a change in your hair or do you actually want to change your look completely? Obviously going from long to short is going to give you a completely different look. And a lot of times people think that longer hair is more flattering and that can be true on some women and some women actually short hair is more flattering. On myself, for example, my, my face shape is I don't have a strong jawline. So short hair actually sharpens that up for me and is more flattering than long hair. So when you talk to your stylist, you can bring in different pictures, you can show if you have long hair or if you've had other shortcuts. The more visual, the better when you go into a salon. So pictures are a great tool. The next thing I would also find if you have somebody you know, particular in mind that you love their cut is you have to find a stylist that understands short hair. Cutting short hair is different than cutting long hair. In my experience, no matter what age you are, um, you never want a short haircut to look frumpy. You want it to look fresh in whatever your style it is. Another thing to take into account is how much maintenance you're willing to put in. Because a lot of times people come to me and they say, I want short hair because it's gonna be easier. No, short hair is not easier in the sense that you have to go a lot more regularly to the salon. Why? Because short hair, you can see the thickness, especially in through the crown of your head. You get a lot of thickness, you start getting the light bulb effect, which in my experience is, is not a cute look. Although if you like that, more power to you. So you do have to go a lot more regularly to the salon and oftentimes you have to put a little more effort into getting it to a style, whereas a lot of women I know with long hair just throw up in a ponytail and they're fine with that. I think short hair can be incredibly fun and when I went short it changed my hairstyling world and actually for the first time, except for the time when I wore fake hair, <laughs> I actually got a lot of compliments on my hair because it was something unique and edgy enough yet still feminine and I felt like it truly fit my sense of who I was. So I strongly encourage you if you're one of those women that always thought about getting short hair, perhaps it is a style that works for you and uh, the biggest thing from whether you're going to get weaves, extensions, short hair, long hair, curly hair, straight hair. The important thing is to understand what you love and what you think embraces who you truly are. Because the essence of hair is to understanding. It's, it's, it's a reflection of your personality. So what you want that to do is shine through with whatever look you're trying to achieve.